We're under the I-75 bridge at the Kentucky River and we're gonna kind of take a look and see if we find any fossils right here on this cliff face. Check out this piece. It looks kind of like a there looks kind of like a spiral shell here in the base of a spiral shell here possibly. Maybe one right over here. That's pretty cool. Nice shell imprint on this one. Real close here you can see the little edge of the shell on this one. That's pretty cool. A little fragment. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, those are beautiful. Hold on a second, let me get close. Oh yeah, those are gorgeous. Oh, whoa, there we go. Look at that big piece right, right here. There's the edge of a shell or something right here. You see that one? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll put that one up here. Come back and get that one later. That one's got shells all and a, a little biotic companion. Okay, keep that one. Hey, look at this one. I think this is like a a concretion of shells and stuff. I mean, look like on the edge. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's just all a completely together. clumped shell sedimentation. I got something. Oh, okay. yeah. oh yeah, yeah. You're the best at finding these. Those are awesome, beautiful, big, big one. Eh? Oh yeah, that's cool. Keep it, man. Yeah. It's full of all tiny. Oh animals. yeah, it's like a, another one of those sedimentary conglomerations of stuff. Cool. I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass on trying to go up there. I don't really feel like. Uh, falling so I think we had a good trip very cool These are just flat pieces of brachiopods okay it might be the type uh, similar to raphnaskina a strophomented brachiopod from okay probably ordovician okay I've got a few more Gosh. These are just, this is kind of a conglomerate. Of yeah, this is just stacked up uh, brachiopod pieces and he's cleaning off a little bit that really okay. tell very much Okay, all right, I got more. Where'd you collect all this stuff on the way here? Uh, we we went under the bridge. That uh, might be a piece of a snail. Look at this longitudinal. There's you can oh, see there's the a high, there's a high spired snail there. Yeah. Okay. We were under the I seventy five bridge uh, Clay's Ferry yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, that's a high spired snail. Okay. Cool. That's another flat brachiopod, and there's a different type of brachiopod here. Okay. This is probably Raphnaskina. Okay. It's named after Constantine Raphnesk. He was an early scientist in the 1830s that taught at Transylvania University in Lexington. Okay. And wow. he got fired for fooling around with the president of the university's wife. Oops. <laughs> but somehow, after he died, he got buried in Transy. That's another flat brach. Nice preservation in a few places. What about this one right that one? Yeah, is that what you're talking about? Not, there's one there, one there, and probably the part of one there. Okay, okay. Anything on the back. Uh, to not tell. too much. I think those were about the best ones that we had. We had a few others, but yeah. When we get back, just grab some more stuff out of the back of my truck because I got plenty of stuff. That one's up. just kind of an edge piece. Can you yeah, see that? Yeah, the top one? of it's broken off. Okay. Um but there's all sorts of fossil fragments all through this. If you had gotten a little wet and gotten some of the mud off of it, we might be able to see more stuff. Okay. Let me flip it here. I don't think there was anything that I no, could see. Fragments all over the place, but hard to tell. Thank you, Mr. Phelps. Okay, and awesome. it's okay for me to put it on YouTube? Oh, please. Okay, yeah. wonderful. And tell me where you're from again? I live in Lexington, Kentucky. I run the Kentucky Paleontological Society. Yes, sir. 
And I also uh, teach at the Jefferson Community College System. Cool. Thank you.